Welcome back to our Fast API series. Today, we're moving on to another crucial topic, handling form data and file uploads. Whether you're building a simple form or handling large file uploads, Fast API provides powerful tools to make this process straightforward. Let's get started. We'll begin by exploring how to handle form data in Fast API. Form data is often used for things like user logins, search queries, or other types of user input. Fast API allows you to handle this easily using the form dependency. In this example, we're creating a simple login endpoint. Here, username and password are form fields that are required inputs. We're using the form dependency to extract these values directly from the HTML form submission. Let's test this out using Fast API's interactive documentation. Head over to slash docs, and you'll see our slash login slash endpoint. Try entering a username and password, and you'll see that Fast API returns them back to you in a JSON format with a message confirming the login. Next, let's dive into handling file uploads. Fast API makes it incredibly easy to upload files, whether it's a profile picture, a document, or any other type of file. Here, we're creating an endpoint that allows users to upload a single file. The upload file type gives us access to the file's content, file name, and metadata, while filed indicates that this is a required file input. Let's see this in action. Go to slash docs, find the slash upload file slash endpoint, and try uploading a file. You'll notice that Fast API responds with a file name, confirming that the file was successfully received by the server. Now that we've successfully uploaded a file, you might want to save it on your server for later use. Fast API makes this process straightforward. In this example, we're saving the uploaded file to a directory called Uploads. We open the file in write binary mode and write its content. After saving the file, we return a message confirming that the file was successfully saved. You can test this by heading to slash docs, selecting the slash save file slash endpoint and uploading a file. After submitting, you'll see a confirmation message that your file was saved to the server. Sometimes your users might need to upload multiple files at once, like submitting a batch of images or documents. Fast API supports this with ease. In this route, we're accepting a list of files using list upload file. Fast API automatically parses multiple file uploads into a list, making it easy to handle each file individually. Let's test multiple file uploads. Go to docs, find this upload file slash endpoint and upload multiple files. Fast API will return the file names of all the files you've uploaded, confirming that the server received them. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or topics you'd like to see covered, leave a comment below. See you in the next video.